In this exercise, we'll determine which of the assignments in this snippet of code are permissible according to the C++ standard, and which ones are prohibited. Now, all the initializations are actually permissible, but we'll talk about them individually when we actually look at this together. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to work on it, and then we'll talk about it together. OK, so let's actually draw out a memory diagram that allows us to reason about what's happening over here. To start off with, we have a variable x. And that's just a regular old integer variable. So we get an object in memory in the activation record for this function. And we initialize that object with the value 3. Then on the next line, we declare a variable a. And so we get an object in memory associated with that name a. And here we've declared it as a pointer to const, which means that the pointer object itself isn't const, but the object that it's pointing at, it won't be modifiable through this pointer. So we initialize it with the address of x. And we'll write down const next to that arrow to indicate that we're not allowed to modify that object through the pointer a. On the next line, we declare a local variable b which means that we get another object in memory in our activation record. Now we marked b as const over here, and I'll, I'll write down const underneath the name b to remind us that we can't actually modify this object through the name b. However, we are allowed to initialize something that's const. Whenever we have a const object, we can provide it with an initial value. What we're not allowed to do is, once that initial value is set, to actually modify it, to assign to it, to change it to something else. OK, so the initial value is from the object x. Here we don't have we're not declaring a reference, so we get value semantics, which means that we get the value 3 copied over from x into the memory that's associated with b. On the next line, we declare c as a pointer as a constant pointer to an integer. Okay, so we get an object in memory. And now here the pointer is actually constant, which means that the address value of this object isn't allowed to change. And so I'm going to put a const underneath the C, just like we did with B. And again, we're still allowed to initialize it. Here we've initialized it with the address of x. So it's actually going to point to the object associated with x. And now the const, there is no const on the left-hand side of the star here. So we are actually going to be able to modify that object through this pointer. What we're not allowed to modify is the C object itself. Finally, we initialize D as a reference. And we initialize it with the object x. So it's actually going to be an alias for that object. Since we declared it as a reference to a constant int, that means we won't be allowed to modify this object through the name d. And I'm going to write down const underneath d to remind ourselves of that restriction. Now we'll still be able to modify this object through the name x because we didn't put in a const when we, did, when we declared x. However, we won't be able to modify it using the name d. So now let's look at the individual assignments below. In the first one, we dereference A, which means that we're going to follow the pointer to the object that it's pointing at. And notice we encounter a cost along the way, which means that we won't actually be able to modify that object. Unfortunately, that's exactly what we're trying to do. So the compiler will catch that and give us an error. On the next statement, we attempt to modify B, but B was actually declared as const. And so we're not allowed to assign into it. So the compiler won't let us do that either. On the next line, we dereference C to get to that object that's associated with x. And we didn't encounter a cost along the way, which means that we're actually allowed to modify that object. And this will actually succeed and modify the contents of that object to be 5. Then on the next line, we attempted to change the value that's actually stored in the C object itself. However, that object, when we declare that variable, we declared it as const, which means that we're not allowed to actually change the contents of that object over there. And so this assignment is prohibited. On the next line, we attempt to change the object that's associated with both D and X. However, since we're changing it through the name D, and that's a name that we said was a reference to a constant integer. 
the compiler won't actually let us do that. Okay. Looking at the last line, skipping over one line for a moment, what we've done there is we've actually attempted to modify the same object using the name x, and we didn't place any restrictions on the name x. So that actually would be allowed, and it would change the value of that object to be 5, which of course is already 5, but the compiler doesn't know that. Stepping back to the previous statement, here we're modifying the value that's contained inside of the object a. a is not marked as const, so we're actually allowed to do that. We're changing it to be the address of b, so this will actually change a to contain the address of b. And it's still going to be a pointer to a const, so we'll put that const there. Now one thing to note is that in order for that assignment a equals address of b to work, because b is const, a must be a pointer to const in order for the compiler to allow this. So if we had another pointer variable where we didn't make it a pointer to const, just a regular pointer to an integer, and let's call it e, and if we attempt to either initialize this with the address of b or just assign the address of b later, then the compiler won't actually let us do that and the reason is because the b object isn't modifiable, but by taking its address and placing it into e, we would make it legal to modify by dereferencing into e. And the compiler doesn't let us take an object that is not modifiable and turn it into one that is. Okay, So it was absolutely necessary in order for the assignment down there to work that a was a pointer to, con to a constant int. And if that const was missing, then, it would, then this assignment would actually be prohibited.